in the name of Jesus Christ, the only hope for this lost and dying world. My name is Frank. I'm a missionary with my wife here on the uh, western coast of the island of Luzon here in the Philippines. Uh, we're at the top of the hour, actually two, three minutes to the top of the hour, and we've got a 100% chance of rain. Praise God, it is raining. The temperature here is a comfortable 80 degrees, and the wind chill, if you want to call it that, or the heat index uh, is at uh, 87, but it's comfortable. Um, there, the uh, low pressure area uh, is going up the west coast of the island of uh, Luzon, just off uh, shore. Um, praise God, it, it wasn't uh, real super developed, but it may develop as it heads uh, up <clears throat> toward the uh, South China Sea as it heads toward China. It may pick up in intensity. You should be able to uh, watch the news where you're located in the Western Hemisphere and they'll give you updates. I also recommend that you just check on uh, uh, weather.com. Weather.com, it's the uh, website for the weatherchannel.com many of you uh, are used to seeing the weather channel uh, on uh, different uh, you know cable systems around the world uh, today again it's uh, right at uh, eight not well it's at the top of the hour I'll just say that we've had a great uh, week uh, we uh, did a, a water baptism. It was necessary. We were able to uh, fill up uh, three uh, jeepney loads. That kind of like a uh, Philippine uh, school bus, uh, and um, and so we were able to get three loads. I can't tell you where we went because I don't remember. Uh, the way there, few of the roads have any signs on it. I did take a nap and take advantage of the time uh, available to sleep a little bit. And if you ask me where it was, I couldn't tell you uh, because, again, I didn't have the information. I still don't. We just got to a perch, so to speak. And the way down to the water was a long way down. It was a steep, steep descent into the water. It was very steep. Uh, even though we had uh, three loads, uh, three uh, bus loads, if you want to call it, uh, uh, it, um, it was not anywhere close to 30% uh, of capacity, not anywhere near it. It was kind of remote location and it was slow, difficult climb for somebody who hasn't had a lot of exercise because everybody's been under nationwide uh, quarantine, varying degrees of quarantine. and. Uh, so it was a challenging descent uh, down uh, to the water baptism. And afterwards, it was a steep climb back to the top. But it was so good. The Holy Spirit was there. It's so good to be able to see so many people, one person at a time, that were able to follow the Lord Jesus Christ in uh, water uh, baptism. It was great to see uh, the Lord is blessing us. 
here in the Philippines, even blessing the ministry, even through a nationwide quarantine that goes back to March of 2020. So God continues to bless. He continues to move. We're able to help some of the people, feed some of the people, help to uh, help some of those who have had their careers and their incomes severely interrupted, helping some uh, with their different needs, some. And uh, it's because of the generosity of the people of God, many of whom are right here who partner with us. We thank you. And um, God is doing a great thing, yes. And uh, the Lord, he sees and he will repay. <coughs> you remember, Jesus tells us, he promises, uh, he says, um, give and it shall be given unto you pressed down shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom that's a promise from Jesus that promise is good for today that's not my promise I don't have the wherewithal to make that come to pass I don't have the authority uh, to but our father in heaven he does and Jesus teaches heaven and earth may pass away uh, but my word will not pass away so today today we're continuing on our expository Bible study and we're in the third chapter of the book of Mark. So I encourage you to uh, grab your Bible, <coughs> get a copy of that, and I've got my too big, or too big. They say it with more of a Filipino accent. I'm stuck with my accent from the state of Kentucky. So I encourage you to get that now. Uh, as missionaries, I prefer to be doing campaigns, campaigns for Jesus. I prefer uh, crowds of people who do not know Jesus. You know, we live in a time when people really don't know much about Jesus. They've heard about Jesus. Some have seen movies about him. They've read about him, but they've never been introduced, had the opportunity to meet or be introduced and ushered into the presence of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And when an individual has an opportunity to come into his presence. And Jesus promises that wherever two or three are gathered together in his name, in his authority, he promises to be in our midst. Yes. And so uh, people look for Jesus. And I want you to know that he is not hard to find. He's easy to be found. And the purpose is, uh, our purpose is to introduce you to Jesus. To make disciples. To enter you, uh, introduce you into his presence. And his presence is available for you. Yes. He promises you, I will never leave you 
or forsake you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Yes, he's so good. And uh, but um, we we are missionaries of God, the Father, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, conceived by the Holy Spirit. Born of the Virgin Mary, he uh, lived a life of no sin. He suffered, he was beaten, he was crucified and buried under Pontius Pilate, or under the authority, the command of Pontius Pilate. Uh, he, he was buried, and on the third day, he rose again. He lives today. He has miracle working power. He intercedes. He prays for you at the right hand of God our Father. Yes, he's promised. He says, uh, um, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again, receive you to myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. It comes from John chapter 14. And actually the passage begins with verse 1. But today we're in the book of Mark. Many believe and I agree that uh, he had a very close uh, relationship with Simon Peter. Uh, I agree that uh, he very well may have been Simon Peter's son. John Mark may have been the son of Simon Peter. Other scholars believe that he was a nephew. Perhaps he was the son of Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. But uh, at the very least, we see details that indicate that he had a very close relationship. You know, Simon Peter had a very close uh, influence, strong influence on John Mark. And here we are <clears throat> in the Gospel of Mark, thought by many to be the uh, where uh, John Mark copied in uh, Holy Spirit brought it to his mind uh, parts of the messages of Simon Peter yes about Jesus under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost so we're going to start again in uh, Mark chapter 3 we're going to start with uh, verse 7 but uh, Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples, with his students, to the sea. And a great multitude from Galilee followed him and from Judea. So this would have been on the west coast of Israel, just uh, up closer to the modern day uh, border the modern day border uh, with Lebanon that area through there in uh, Judea <clears throat> uh, that's the region that Judea contains the region that is most frequently identified with Bethlehem and Jerusalem those areas there so Jesus was attracting a lot of influence he's attracting a lot of attention <clears throat> people come because they want to be in the presence of Jesus they wanted to hear his words there's something about that name there's something about that authority yes <clears throat> Jesus the only hope for this lost 
and dying this dying world this world is in great chaos great confusion uh, but there will be peace you can have peace in your heart through Jesus the son of the living God you follow Jesus his teachings you will find that things will be better 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 opportunities because you have a relationship with Jesus now in your daily and it should be daily study of the Word of God the Bible the Holy Spirit if you're faithful reading throughout the word it the Holy Spirit will point out to you uh, the things in your life the issues in your life that are not proper and pleasing to God his standard for us uh, repeated by Jesus his standard is so very high uh, his standard his uh, is, is so high for us that the Holy Spirit will point out to honest believers that uh, I don't measure up I can't attain to that high degree of holiness the Word of God is explicit. There is none righteous, no, not one. No. J at, uh, John, he, uh, he, it's very plain where Jesus says, Without me, you can do nothing. You can't please the Lord on your own. Your works and your efforts to please him are insufficient they are not enough none righteous no not one and that includes me and that includes you without Jesus you can do nothing Jesus explicitly tells us I am the way the truth and the life no man no one cometh unto the Father except through me, through Jesus. John 14, verse 6. And so, all these people, a great multitude, uh, they came to follow Jesus. And from Jerusalem and from Adumea, that's uh, uh, the region of the uh, sons, of uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, sons from not uh, not Jacob, no, but Esau, from that area, that region, they came in from beyond Jordan. Beyond Jordan would be you know beyond the river, over into modern day Jordan. In uh, Tyre and Sidon, that would be up beyond the modern uh, border of Lebanon in Israel. Uh, and when they had heard what great things he did, they come unto him. Yes, as we lift up Jesus, all... People from every nation are attracted to him. We lift up Jesus. We brag about Jesus. As a missionary, I found it uh, uh, a good thing to do to brag about Jesus, to testify about the works of the Son of God. Uh, those works that are not just in the past but they are in the present yes Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever if you've not uh, participated in a missions uh, our short-term missionary trip or uh, I would encourage you to pray about it 
if you love the Lord, I want you to pray about partnering with us. One way you can partner with us is uh, if this is helpful to like it, like the uh, video, to share the video, hit the plus sign whatever is available on the platform in which you're watching and to share it with other people. And uh, when you see that sometimes there's a, a, a join or subscribe, what that does is uh, that will notify you when we're doing a teaching online or in it will uh, let you know, give you a link so you can go watch us live or watch later at a time that is more to your convenience. But uh, and if you can't come right now, perhaps you want to uh, participate with us. Per perhaps you want to support us uh, with a uh, money gift. Well, we can uh, give you the details as to how to do that more easily for you. Uh, but um, the Lord is doing great things. I'm hearing about uh, manifestations of uh, Jesus from all around the world and I can tell you that they are happening here they are happening here even during a nationwide quarantine God is showing his mercy and I believe that uh, these uh, manifestations will intensify yes I believe they will perhaps you'll want to be a uh, part of that with us perhaps you will uh, communicate with us now let's get back into the word here all ship a small ship uh, should uh, wait on him because of the crowd, because of the multitude, lest they should uh, throng him. He run out of room, not have enough room. Uh, for he had, Jesus had, uh, healed insomuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues, sickness, disease, and unclean spirits, unclean spirits. When they saw him, they fell down before him. They worshiping the Lord and cried out saying thou art the son of God and he straightly charged them that they should not make him known sometimes there's a good testimony a good testimony uh, well in this case it wasn't time it was time for him to preach that the kingdom of heaven was near, but uh, the time uh, he still had ministry that needed to be done. And there's ministry that continues to this day. And we're part of that. And you can be part of that too. Yes, you can be part of that too. And... Uh, God is so good. It is uh, 21 minutes after the hour. Uh, we want you to know that our God, our Savior, He still answers prayer. He still, in the miracle working uh, business, we are hearing and reading about testimonies from all over the world 
Yes, I see good reports from as far away as the Western Hemisphere. I'm reading good reports from Florida. You ever been to Florida? Florida's a beautiful place. I hear from uh, several states. I have uh, friends that God has blessed me with from different nations. Different nations. Uh, and if you send a friend request, we got it. We want to know who you are. It's a good thing so we can pray for you. We not may not be able to respond to everybody, but we do pray. So um, we serve a good God, and Jesus tells us that our number one responsibility as believers is to go into all the world and preach the gospel yes to preach the gospel that's our number one responsibility is to preach the gospel now in Matthew the Apostle Matthew he records that using specific language I'm following a, a rabbit trail right now Jesus speaking Matthew 20 uh, 28 19 he says uh, go ye therefore yes he's talking to you go he doesn't say sit he says go start take action whatever you desire to do for the Lord begin it start today go ye therefore and teach all nations that means to make disciples baptizing them yes we did we were blessed to be able to do a, a good you know three G three jeepney loads three uh, uh, bus loads uh, in the name of the Father, in the authority of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You know, make disciples. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have uh, commanded you. For lo, I am with you always, even unto... The end of the world. See, you're in that process. Make disciples. Allow your light to shine before men. Allow your talents, your influence to be known to others around you. For Jesus to make disciples. In Mark, Simon Peter remembered it in this way he put it this way under the inspiration and John Mark his son or nephew he uh, captured this under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature use your influence use your talents you, if you can't come, you can participate. And yes, you can send money. Thank you. If the Holy Spirit doesn't speak to you in that way to send money, don't do it. We don't want it if the Lord doesn't talk to you about that. And um, so preach the gospel to every uh, creature. And it tells us in verse 17... We don't want to uh, get into that too much right now. But he says, these signs shall follow. It doesn't say all of the signs will follow, but there will be signs that follow. Remember the uh, comedian who says uh, people are looking for a sign? Well, this is your sign. It's written in the Word. Yes. It's declared.
pray with us, would you? Pray with us. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that you always hear us when we pray. I thank you that you hear us every time that we call out your name. And the authority given to us by Jesus, your Son, we call you Father. We ask you to forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. We thank you that you don't tempt your children with evil. That just like, yes, yes, your servant that cry out, Oh, won't you bless me indeed? Won't you pour out supernatural provision from your throne? Enlarge our coast, more responsibilities, more opportunities, that your hand would be with me so that we can accomplish things that people say, wow, that had to be God because they don't have the talent to do that. It must be God. And that you would keep us from evil. Yes. Help us to avoid whenever possible. To cross the street if we need to. To identify situations and when possible. Avoid. We thank you, Father, again, that you always hear us. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever all men. Yes, when you become a child of God, you become heirs because you become a citizen of heaven. We live in a fallen world but there are benefits that come from serving the Lord and becoming a citizen. Yes. And you should always pray every day that His will be done in your life. That His kingdom come and that His will be done in your life as it is in heaven you'll remember scripture teaches sometimes you have not because you ask not other times your prayers are amiss because you didn't ask for his kingdom to come and his will to be done in your life in your life well we're about 35 minutes in we like to keep it brief. We want you to be able to clearly understand the Word of God, digest it easily. If you want to communicate with us, please do. Right here on this platform, comments. And uh, we want to hear from you. And most certainly, our Father in Heaven, He wants to hear from you just the same. Well, may God uh, bless you and keep you. If the Lord is speaking to you to help us out, communicate with us. And we'll let you know how to do that most uh, easily, conveniently for you. And if the Lord is not speaking to you, then I'm not talking to you either. Yes, let's do what the Lord inspires you to do. So... May, may God bless you and keep you and his light, his love, his mercy, his goodness shine upon you. Dios libendega, may God bless you. Yes, pointing to you. Have a great day.